not going to be using Foundry because mm. uh, I've not had a huge amount of time to prep any sort of like visuals or combat or anything like that. Um, it's going to be a lot of um, theatre of the mind and uh, advancing some story bits and seeing if there's anything that your characters might want to be doing in uh, downtime and things. Um, but there's going to be plenty of uh, things around the town that you can get down and uh, do. Um, obviously, you had in the previous session uh, gone to do some information mm. gathering. Um, so you went to go and find Francis, uh, the wizard, um, who was supposedly someone who was going to know quite a bit about uh, teleporting new places so that you could get yourself to this new area that started being similar to the Scorchlands. Um, and instead you found a mass outbreak of rats in his house. So you and the uh, wizard police went over to <laughs> the bookstore next door and harassed a tabaxi, <laughs> much as you are very good at doing, uh, just harassing random shopkeeps. Um, <laughs> uh, and you ended up um, communicating with the rats, uh, and they, as a unit, managed to send you uh, through the teleportation circle over to the fields that you needed to get to. Um, except Keith did not manage to go with you. Uh, you didn't check if he was in the circle before you left, and Cleeth is uh, left in that house. <coughs> what mischief will he get up to on his own? Oh, who knows? Maybe he'll be a man when you get back. Oh, my poor son. Um, but you ended up in the cellar of a very nice hotel uh, and a kitchen, uh, since that has been... Uh, built in place of the school that used to be there um, so you make your way there uh, to the fields and you meet I believe the name was Finch was it Finch the name that I gave you? I think it is yes Yes. Uh, you meet Finch uh, who explains everything that is going on around the area, you fight some big fire devils elementals type things um, and you get a little bit more information about uh, an old uh, elemental gin, uh, which Finch was pretty convinced it couldn't be that, but it's a very interesting take. Um, and from there, I think you left to go back to the city that you were in. Um, so... I think we were going to say that we were just going to start the top of the session by just being back in the town. Like, you've done your travels, um, unless you want to have that opportunity to travel together and talk about things and try and flesh some stuff out and see if you've got any questions for each other or planning anything at all. Um, but... That was good. I would very much like to be out of the fire realm. <laughs> this is getting a bit hot in here, isn't it? It's so hot. Wonderful. So, you all get back to Bjorken, I believe. Yes, you're back in Bjorken. You know what? We. Can use Foundry because I have Bjorken as a map prepared, so that's all good. Yeah, baby. But then you can have some visual stimuli, um, your bunch of neurodivergence. <laughs> <laughs> Something colourful to look at for a bit. Yeah. I do like flashing colours. Shapes and colours. <laughs> Shapes and colours, the likes of which Ooh. I've never seen. <laughs> right, oh, so oh, let me just pull it up real quick. I think to open it to just not have any good time. I yeah, like I haven't opened not... very well. It's because I, okay. yeah. I haven't set up the uh, <clears throat> yet. Uh, um, yes, that'll be it. There, there <laughs> is <laughs> not, not, <laughs> currently nothing <laughs> to connect to. So. <laughs> yes. Shockingly, I have <gasps> to host it. Cringe. What the fuck? Yeah, that's not acceptable, to be honest. Unbased. <laughs> Why? Hello? Why do none of my passwords work? Oh, well, we're locked out of the server. There we go. I'm in. Yeah, oh my God. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. 
Shit. Hello. I'm muted. Oh, well, I didn't even was, it, was it caps lock? Muted, I'm bad. <clears throat> uh, it was caps lock, yes. Yeah, I would say caps lock. I still can't get in. Give it a minute. Okay. Why don't you just uh, constantly F5 and see if we can crash uh, All right. Uh, it? Alright. Yeah. It is. It is up. All right, it is up and running, so you should be all good to load in now. Or have fame test. Well, boy, howdy. Well, boy, howdy. Uh, incorrect. Is he just going to say it's ready for the next two hours, aren't you? No, it is ready. <laughs> Uh, I can send a Try. new link. See if that works. Get punked, idiots. Get fucking punked on, you silly <laughs> bunch of cunts. A different IP, uh, a different, different IP. kind of connected. Yeah. Mm, That's I'll weird. Same mm. computer. So my, I mine know. used to do that when I um, hosted Minecraft, I think. I used to change the IP periodically. I don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah. You might be able to set up a static IP with your router. Should have packed a man. That's gibberish. <laughs> yeah. No one can do that. Chatting shit, Rowan, come on. What the fuck? That's not a thing that's possible, you silly bastards. Modern day <laughs> black magic. Oh, I could, I could play as Finny. <laughs> not going you try. to. Oh, I don't want to do that, but I could. You, you could try, but I don't know if anyone could... Uh... I said select you know, user and the option was there. It captured his essence quite correctly. Yeah, I don't think anyone could um, yeah, be that <laughs> level of <laughs> sparkly as a character. You have to roll for his bloody <clears throat> sequins. Oh, this is such a beautiful map. Isn't it nice? I got it from uh, what they called? I got it. You made it. So you made well, it. You, well, I was gonna say uh, you didn't hand make this map. We'll what? never verify it. Yeah, I, I made I made it by f uh, googling. Okay. That counts. Powerful. Mm, it's incredible. Yeah, you did the Google search, right? It's I did Google, Google search, search, so it's fine. Technically, find us keepers, yeah. you know. Um, <laughs> no PC so, now, mate. It's yours. You've been on a little journey, it's like an NFT. Um, and you have made your way back to Bjorken. It's a lovely, um, sort of summery day today. Uh, you've got a lot of information that you've collected over your time, um, and you are down by one small, sentient, uh, middle-aged man crocodile. Um, so you've got a few things that you could do. You could go and try and find him for the day. You could go and gather some more information. Or you could be preoccupied with getting off the boat and hearing just sobbing, crying, and screaming coming from a nearby pier. There Sorry, is I'll stop. Big <laughs> sounds of distress. <laughs> um, it sounds like something tragic has happened. Um, oh boy. And as you sort of look over from this larger, like elevated uh, plane that you have arrived back on, uh, you look over to sort of the northwest and you can see a collection. Of bodies, ported <gasps> and oh lord to the sea. What are you guys going to do? Where? We leave that damn crocodile alone for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Tell me it ain't so. Say it ain't so. I will not argue. <laughs> um. Well, I reckon we should probably go and investigate that, shouldn't we? But we should establish first. Did any one of us do yeah. that? Was that us? Uh, Did we do I, that? I don't reckon so. Has anyone killed a bunch of people? Took him in the sea. I mean, we've, uh, we've all been not, to, uh, together not for the last... Recently. We've all not, been together the for the last, last few several weeks, days, so... Uh... Right, but I'll, I'll keep closing my eyes and then I can't see you, can I? Does it count as throwing them in the sea if they are already in the sea? Uh, no. Then... You can't throw uh, something that's wet. 
Oh, 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 <laughs> refuses to elaborate. <laughs> he just swaggers away, <laughs> drops the bomb, and then fucks up. <laughs> uh, um, can we walk straight down here? Is it like uh, so? This is elevated up here, so you'd have to make your way down. But we can absolutely say that you rush over. It's totally fine. Oh, I can off. pop you all over. I also jumped Wonderful. off. I'm doing peak RPM You're walking. <laughs> Look at him go! Wow, um, he's rushing. He's running. Is there? Is there anywhere around? You had said there was a railing. Is there like a, yeah, there's like a, a group of person. people. Uh, there's like three or four people. Uh, there's one woman who is just like, she has a face in her hands, just like shaking, crying uncontrollably um, okay. over one of these men. Um, and there's others who are just like, there's a couple of guards who are trying to like identify the bodies uh, and like move people away from the scene. Um, but they're not moving that one woman away because she is like in pieces. Mm. Guys, we should do the magic police bits again. Are it they work really well? <laughs> are they clearly dead? Like... They are slaughtered. Okay. Like it is a line of men leading into the ocean. Uh, they are pale. Um, they have they've got countless wounds on them. Like their skin mm. is lacerated. Um, does it look like alligator bites? No, it does not. Okay, fantastic. Oh, it's not my son. Wonderful. What about crocodile bites? Definitely not crocodile bites. Okay. Does it look like really small alligator bites? <laughs> it doesn't. No, it oh, looks okay. like long uh, blades. Um, in some of the bodies, you can see uh, puncture wounds that are three in a row. Like they're all lined up, like three puncture wounds in a row. Um, oh, but they're all vampire. they're all bled out, very dead, uh, and a few of them <clears> like they're, they're they're they look like fishermen. They look like they were just like sailors and fishermen who are out on the docks for the day. Can I have a look and see if I recognise? Like, um, I, I'm thinking. My theory is that it's fish people coming up with triton. Oh, not tritons coming up with tridents. Yeah, Stabbing these assholes. Sure. Uh, do a medicine check with advantage on this one. Yeah. Oh. Um, that's me. Uh, medicine. Where am I? With advantage. I got. Uh, I got a number that's a noise. I got a. Uh, that's. It's I got an air. It's about what I got, I think. It's a 12. A twelve? Do you have a character sheet that you're using? Yeah, on um, <laughs> Dindy Beyond. Yeah, got a nine and a twelve. Yeah. Okay, so you don't have a modifier for it. Cool. No. Um. So yeah, you. It. You look at them and you're like, uh, you, you put the pieces together. Definitely. Um. These are trident, uh, wounds, um, and you can see that like. As they've been pulled out of the bodies, um, the exit wounds are like torn apart. Like their bodies have been ripped and like rended uh, because of you know that a lot of not tritons, but you're aware of the uh, merfolk and the what's that? Mero specifically. Uh, there's a culture of fish people called Mero who use barbed. Tridents, um, to really fuck up a person's body when they kill them. Uh, but yeah, you definitely notice that that's probably what's uh, gone on here. Um, mm. As you're investigating a couple of them, because they, their clothes have been like ripped apart by all of the weapons that have been used on them, um, there's a few bodies that have um, very similar sort of carvings on their bodies which I will put in the D&D chat
Where are they? The anticipation is killing me. Don't, don't, don't get too excited. You know? <laughs> Calm it down. No. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I gotta get screenshots of them again. Hold on. Uh, did it? Did it? Did it? Uh, a bunch of the bodies have this mark. Oh. Some of them are very crudely drawn, uh, because they have been carved into the skin. Um. But they all sort of hold a similar shape to that. Can I maybe investigate these marks and see? Yeah, you absolutely can. Um, do a. Uh, what are you, what are you trying to investigate about them specifically? You're trying to recognise what they could be, or uh, it's language, or I recognise a symbol, or it's similar to something I may have seen before. If I can yeah. help her out with that, I will as well. Um, do a history check for me. How would you assist a history check, Pef? Um, knowing Pef, probably by ar arrogantly telling her she's wrong in something else. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, just do a straight history roll. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 13. A 13? Yeah. Um, Which sucks because look... I've got a plus 7 to history. <laughs> <laughs> plus that's, seven? Yeah, I've got a plus seven. I'm very intelligent. That's very That's, funny. that's insane yeah, that you've got 13 with that. I've that's got, pretty good. Yeah, I know, right? Mm. That's pretty good, man. Um, you don't initially, you don't completely recognize them. Mm. Um, you can see that they're definitely placed with intention, like it could be like um, a mark or a symbol that would have been uh, from. I mean, you, you put it together, this is a bunch of marrow. Um, they are sea creatures, um, so you can probably figure out that the markings might be Aquan in nature, uh, they could be some sort of elemental or primordial language, but it's no language that humanoids typically use in, like, current cultures, because it, it looks ancient. Okay. I think I know primordial and... <laughs> I know primor primordial Thanks for that one. Too. I have to crawl on my uh, on my character sheet, but I think that's because it been... didn't have Triton or Aquin. They've been marked to be happy boys. That's what the mark Excellent. is. Excellent. Um, <laughs> right. What? So yeah, you speak. Um, speak primordial. primordial. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can kind of recognise it then. It. A mark that would mean, like, sea beast, um, but in more recent times, uh, especially in the land that you live in, uh, it would translate to Thalassim. Which I will put the spelling of just in here. That's what it would translate to these days. To our king. No worries. Ugh. So you see this bit that looks a bit like a, like a snake. It's like an oh. underwater snake, and uh, it's like a sea uh, snake. Yeah, yeah. But as right. we know, all all snakes are female. Um, right. Yeah. And, I, think, um, I don't know if we do know no, that. You went you the wrong way around. All <laughs> no, females no, no, no. are snakes. I know. That's why it's the lass. It's the lassim. It's it, right. it, it's a bit of a stretch, but that's um that's where. It, that's the fish it comes from. for you. Yeah, absolutely. What's the what's the dot? Oh, it's just a dot. Right, it has no meaning at all. Um, maybe it's the uh, it's like like I'm like a circle is is you or um uh circle means look like look at me so it's the last it me. Uh, um... Oh no, I think he's, he's onto something here. We should let him keep going. I think you should take the language off him at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the, la the language. <laughs> Do not believe he can speak this language. The Make DM has to take the language down. away from him. <laughs> I'm no longer proficient. Oh man. 
incredible. <laughs> Takes away your power of speech. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I'll just mute. <laughs> 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 no, you know Primordial, but that whole thing was bullshit. Uh, the mark means the lesson. There you go. That's what it is. Yeah, all of you shot. get the stinking smell of bullshit. I was about to ask you. Uh, on that note, uh, what do they smell like? I would like to smell them. The, the, the cold bodies. bodies. Wood, yes. wood, 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 wood. What do they Who smell smells like? worse? Me or the bodies? Uh, Dab by a fucking long shot. Yeah. <laughs> these, guys, these guys are not long dead. They smell like. Um, they smell cold and they smell salty, uh, and they smell a little bit fishy. Um, they smell like seaweed. Um, they they just smell like the ocean. But again, okay. they're sailors and they're fishermen, so well, you're not entirely like sure to... how different that could be from usual. I would like to just spend a, a decent amount of time sniffing each body. Yeah, you absolutely can. Um, and then I'll... I have a uh, slightly bitter. Uh... No, is than you, I think, actually. You think? Also, I'm an expert in uh, decomposition, so I might see how long these people have been dead for, based on the uh, bacteria they've got inside. And the parasites they've acquired at sea. You just want to take any... <laughs> any yeah, yeah, them. that too, but you know. <laughs> uh, I'd like to rummage around in the dead bodies. Uh, <laughs> You're going to loot the dead bodies while they have mourning relatives. No, around. no, no, I'm, I'm pretending <laughs> to be checking for how long they've been dead. Like mm -hmm. a true detective. He's, he's looting them of hang their on. diseases. Hang on, magic police coming through, magic police. <laughs> you hold up a fucking, like, rock and it's like, this is my license. <laughs> uh, yeah, you um, can have a look through the bodies. Uh, do an investigation check for me. Oh, how long have they been dead for, genuinely? Um, yeah, Based so... Off decomposition. Do a, yeah, do a medicine check with advantage, then. Alright. Because you know about dead shit. Yeah. Please. I got a nat 20. A nat 20? No, no, I did, that's what? not working, clearly. Hang on. Did I miss out the exclamation mark, maybe? Did you just click roll a 20? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, an actual 10. <laughs> no, okay. there's no way I got two in a row, right? No, you, you, you did the same thing every time. I did, holy fuck, I actually got two 20s well, in a row. Got, back to back. That's a 1 in 400 chance, my boy. That's the most wasted advantage you'll ever see, boys. Let's go. <laughs> that's incredible. That was a, a plus 4 to those as well. Um, Man. That's mad thing. Right, you you can, like, you look at this body, um, you, like, sniff the wounds, uh, you fucking slap them about a little bit, um, and you figure out they've been dead for about four hours. Well, these geezers have been dead for at least four hours. And, like, less than four hours. Ish. Mad if I information. Uh, should welcome. we try and talk to uh, uh, one of these mourners over here? Uh, no. Probably shouldn't be me, but... Uh, well, yeah, probably won't be you. Has anyone got a, a skilled tongue in the party? Me and, uh, me and Gabba can probably get some information out of, um, out of these, these ladies here. I do like the way he thinks. Yeah. Anyone else wanna? No, nobody else. Uh, I, I think you should, should absolutely take the reins. Ah, oh, fuck. Shit. <laughs> 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 well, hang on, so you Get over there, chat. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, come, so here. Come, here, come here, come here, come here. Right, we're gonna do a magic police bit again. It works really well every time, alright? Mm -hmm. oh, God, prepare yourself, boys. Alright, yeah. oh, magic police coming in. Oh, let's go. Oh, magic police. Oh, I'm uh, Detective Inspector Chief um, Gabba Gabba. Also... <laughs> this is my partner. He can introduce himself. Um, my name is uh, Good Cock. He's got a good cock. <laughs> yep. Oh, what's going on here, Dean? Um, the woman sobbing over her, what seems to be her dead husband, uh, looks up at you like bloodshot eyes, like hyperventilating. And then just doesn't say anything, goes back to crying because she thinks you're just there to harass her. Your um, your face is wet. Is it meant to do that? She just keeps crying. She's she is not engaging with you, talking to her like this at all. Uh, how many guards are around right now? Uh, there's like three guards. Are they looking? Yeah, one of them is. One of them's eyeing you up. Probably shouldn't smack her then. 
Um, you gotta, so, gotta fucking smack this morning woman. <laughs> yeah, it's just maximum sense into her, you know. It's like uh, they always do that, right? Get, 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 get for yourself. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> oh, Let's not God. get killed. Right, and we're here to help, love. Uh, what is all this then? And apologies um, and all that. There's um, someone a little bit younger just behind her, um, and she like comes over and just starts rubbing her back, um, and they look at you. Uh, they're like a, a younger, um, like dwarven uh, person. Uh, they've got like thick blonde hair, like tied down in a couple of plaits, um, and they look down at you. Uh, well, they look down at the woman and then up to you, and they're just like. They're, they're just these these monsters. They just they just came from the, from the ocean. They 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 had no motivation. They they just they just slaughtered the fishermen where they stood. I just this hasn't happened in years now. But wait, hang on, go back a minute. So the fishermen were on the beach, hmm. and the monsters. Could you describe the monsters for me? Well, um. They were these sort of humanoid creatures with, like, fish lower bodies. Um, but they were completely, like, they just, they looked like beasts of the ocean. They had these sharp teeth and these massive jaws that just unhinged and tiny beady eyes. And they just, they were, they were like sharks, but they had these massive weapons and they just they slaughtered them they slaughtered them all where they stood well did they did they say anything while they're doing it like you know not not in a language i could understand sir right but were they but were they shouting things though were they were they shouting like noises or something or they just did i'm I'm really sorry I'm, i'm very sorry for your loss but is there any like repeated patterns that they might have been saying to you they they were shouting something um like repetitively, but it wasn't in a language I understood, and I don't remember. Could you, uh, but... could you repeat that for us, <laughs> like I... on Scottish? <laughs> it's, I think I I because I'm a little bit Scottish right now. I'm just <laughs> I'm pushing okay, the, get yourself together, Ed. Pushing pushing the the accent on you. Um, no, I I don't I don't remember the um thing that they said because obviously I didn't understand it but that's that's perfectly fine don't worry you will you useless. agree with what was do, did you know the deceased here yeah yes this was um he's my uncle uh what and uh, it's my auntie so she, her her husband well what was he like he was wonderful you know simple man he just he was a fisherman um it just worked and brought home food and just he's just, just a normal man, just an innocent man. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm very oh. sorry for your loss. For, yeah, you said that already. Yeah. Um, shit, I'm like, look, man, I'm really trying here. Right, yeah. You said this has uh, happened before as well. A few years ago now, yes. Right, what happened then? Same thing. Um, a bunch of... What, he got killed twice? No, with different people. Oh, um, right. A bunch of these creatures came out and they uh, just slaughtered the fishermen that were on the beach. They just... They left these marks on them as well. Um, did they... Um, did they take... Did they take any of the bodies or just leave them? They they never, well, I don't think they took any of the bodies, but I they... Was say, if they if they were some kind of um, like uh, fishy justice, um, then they'd be like, oh, fishermen, oh, well, we can be men of men, you know, like um, men of fish, men of men, men of men, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so have any of these fishermen caught anything weird in the last few days? Maybe they've like well, caught his mum or something, not sure. A couple of them did say that they'd um, come onto a treasure map of some sort. Um, or at least knew something about a relic or something. But 
they were quite secretive of it uh, for the most part. Right. So <clears throat> you seem to know a lot about this. Uh, these fishermen. Have they got any surviving friends? Do they may have told about this treasure map? Is there like a group of, of like a friendship group of five people, but there's only four bodies here? Type yeah, yeah. Type of deal. <laughs> Well, you know, Scooby Doo's there, Freddy's there. Where's Velma? <laughs> I don't know the people that you, you speak of, but no. L- listen, Scrappy. All right, I'm going to call you Scrappy because <laughs> it, it fits. That's not um, my name, but sure. Hey, you do you. All right, but it's um, Scrappy. Um, yeah. What, what he said though. Well, <laughs> they look bewildered by you two and they kind of glance over at the other group of you guys just sort of stood around um I'm, I'm sniffing the dead bodies I'll shrug. i'm smoking my pipe and i do a little wave they wave at you very slightly um and look at caster sniffing the fucking dead bodies uh well they... don't worry they're not with us sure they're not um but you know they they would have told a couple of people, probably their families, maybe drunkenly at a bar, but all of the fishermen that would come down here and the ones that would have seen it happen or been there to see, you know, to hear the first story, they're all here. Um, uh, they're you all know about me, though. I was told in passing, yes. By who? Uh, by my uncle. Well... Oh. Unfortunately, I am I am one of those fish people, so I do need to kill you now. Um, You're not one of the creatures that took these guys. You're correct. That was a test. Um, Did they pass? I can't tell them yet. You just said correct, so I assume. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> passed. Mm, that was also a test. Right, yeah, no, I can see that. Actually, they make a good point. Yeah. Yeah, you sort of gave yourself away the second you opened your mouth, so... What the... What? Yep, I mean, that's I didn't uh, the police okay. finest detective right there. Maybe mm. the test isn't to be a bit of a... bit of a dick. Um, you never know. Uh, anyway, let's get back on track. Let's, let's get back, get back. On. Sorry, sorry. Where, oh, where'd right. they hang out, then? So Sorry? Where'd... you know... Where, where'd the... Uh, where was their pod? Where was there a problem? Where was their pub? Oh, water in all, ain't it? Yeah. There, well, there is one up. Um, it's it's got an open roof. It's it's quite near the um the the walkway pier up at the top over there. Um, it's it's not too far from here at all. I just have to go to the top level, uh, and it's sort of um east east from here. Um, but that's probably the best place to find some people that you could ask about it and so uh, i've got to get my uh my auntie home what was the what was the name of the deceased then the na- my uncle yeah garth oh it's a good name he must have been a good yeah. man yeah no weekly <laughs> isn't it garth was a, is a good man well yeah it was yeah mm. right that's why i use that word Oh, sorry, I must have misheard, my bad. No. Can you stop harassing me and my auntie now, please? Uh, is there anything else that you might be relevant before we go? Have we exhausted all of the dialogue tree? I I had a question, actually. (laughs) Uh, Pardon me, I couldn't help but hear it. You said this hadn't happened in years. Yeah. So it's it's happened before. Yes, it's it's happened before. Um, again, they were left with these marks on their bodies. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know quite the circumstances of that one. But what sort of time was it? Like recently or years ago? It was Three years, years ago. ago. It was years ago now. Okay. Um, Thank you. Probably just over ten, fifteen years ago now. Wait, they said ten to fifteen years ago. I changed my mind. Okay. Thank you. Sorry for your loss. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, uh, they they sort of like pick their auntie up, um, and nod at you guys, and they're just like, "Well, um, hope you figure out whatever is going on here." Um, 
last time it happened, uh, just so you know, it did sort of happen for a few day for a few days. Um, so you might be able to catch him if you turn around. Yeah, runs. He runs. Where he does don't. he run? He's just running away from the beach. It keeps happening here. He's fucking out. <laughs> that was good. Fuck this. I'm Back going. Here, out. Fuck this shit out out. Um, right, so the rest of you. Um, Jeffrey, is there anything going on with little Jeff Reticus right now? Because you're on a beach surrounded by a bunch of dead bodies. Uh, Jeffrey... Uh, no, he tra- he's just trying to get away from the conversation as quickly as possible. It feels mm-hmm. awfully for these, uh, <laughs> for these poor people. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first he's heard of an underwater phone coming for a mm-hmm. for raid. So, a little bit of killing. Yeah, the vibes you're getting um, <laughs> from, you know, your vibe check patron... Um, it's it's gone really quiet right now. Like you're not getting any big yeses or nos. Um just everything that you're hearing, especially when you hear the word thalassum come up, um it just goes really sort of eerily quiet and you feel alone for a moment. For the first time in a few years. Wasn't your fault, was it, you little bugger? Uh you get like no <laughs> response. It sounds very quiet inside your head. Yes. Let's see. Uh, is anyone else doing anything or asking around? Have I ascertained anything from the sniffing of the bodies? Uh, from the sniffing of the bodies, you have figured out um, that all of them have been dead for a few hours. Um, they all died from bleeding out. Um... A couple of them, you can smell sort of like a very basic poison in the wounds. Um, It's sort of like a classic sort of poison you would dip a blade in. It's something that you've seen being done uh, in your upbringing a lot of the time for certain ways of taking someone out. Um, But other than that, you don't really get a whole lot of information from it. Um, It definitely seems like they all have the same like mark and wound on their bodies uh and it was done all in like one go there's no bodies that are like older than the others okay um i'm going to just sort of get up from the bodies and just be like uh mamma mia they're dead and then just walk <laughs> off <laughs> exit stage <left. laughs> i like to uh go to one of the guards and just say something uh-huh. like uh Apparently, this uh, there's a pattern of this happening over a few days. Uh, you, you guys think you should probably watch this beach or something? Station some people. Um, the guy that you walk up to, he's like really grizzled and like very like older. Like he's in his like sixties, but he's like fit. Like he's a buff old man. Um. Uh, he like nods and he's like, "Oh yeah, we're um." Getting some extra bodies down from some of the neighbouring cities to come and help patrol the beach tonight. But needless to Wait say, a, a lot of them are pretty scared. Is Gabba with an earshot? Yes, he is. Gabba breaks the window. What the the huh? You said the code word. You said the code word. <laughs> that is true. The beach window. Get on the fucking ground! Get on the fucking ground! Um, this man stares at you uh, and then ignores you because he thinks you're just a feral creature that has wandered onto the beach. Um, but he, yeah, continues uh, and he's just like, yeah, um, we uh, didn't think this was going to happen again. Uh, it's, it was year, years ago now that this happened last. We thought it was a one-off because uh, nothing like that had ever happened. And... Obviously, it was so many years, nothing else happened afterwards either, so... Uh, but we are getting some extra people on patrol from neighbouring cities to support the watch, but most of them are fucking shit scared, so... They'll be fine. I don't know if they are. Oh, I don't know how much use they're going to be, though. Oh, I mean, 
maybe tell tell the townsfolk to keep away. But uh, uh, oh shit, what was he say? Uh, anything? Did you learn anything from the last occurrence? Like, was there anything you found out afterwards, or anything that led up to it? Well, it did sound like a bunch of um. Well, I heard a, a bunch of hearsay from you know pub goers and stuff that uh there was some sort of hidden treasure or a treasure map or something of some sorts. Um, that was a conspiracy. The other conspiracy was that it was like the end times and these fucking creatures were coming back, but who knows? Bunch of drunkards, none of which are actually there, so who knows? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll look. We'll look into it. Oh, adventuring types are you? Oh yes. That's well, cool. we would uh, would greatly appreciate the help. We'll see what we can do for you. You you be safe. Thank you, mate. All right. Bert Chirpin. <laughs> nice to meet just, you, Bert Chirpin. says his own name like a fucking Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bert Chirpin. That's what he says goodbye. Yeah, yeah. All I right, say Bert Chirpin. Bert Chirpin. Bert Chirpin. Signing off. <laughs> He Can... he ends every fucking interaction like it's a letter. You're oh, yeah. sincerely Bert Chirpin. <laughs> yeah. It's the end of a radio That's broadcast. Good, uh, That's a good idea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> can can Jeff do a, an an internal history check on his memory for uh, any uh, un, underwater uh, sussy business around underwater sussy business? Absolutely, around, around ten to fifteen years ago, anything that might be related. Yeah, for sure. For the time Your history check. Uh, oh fuck! I need to open the page. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Uh, non that twenty. Ooh. Um, about ten to fifteen years ago. You. When did your uh, incident happen? Uh, only like five years ago, I think. Five years ago. You remember being quite young um, and hearing it just like in passing but you heard about this uh, because your sort of community uh, were really nervous about this um, because obviously this is something that hasn't happened before Uh, a lot of there, there, there wasn't often a lot of really bad like attacks from underwater cultures going up into the overground um but you remember there was talk of a portal being opened up in some way. Uh, something that people were calling Valapetri. It's sort of like the Atlantis uh, of this um, like culture, which is spelt like this. Um, and people were talking about how like someone had done something so terrible that it awoken something. Um, no one was really sure what, it was all very hearsay of like, oh my god, like someone's like, summoned a fucking demon, but no one was really sure. It was a lot of just talk about how this ancient civilization has been like, reawoken. Um, but no one could really guarantee that something that happened. Um, it was definitely one of those like, big culture shock moments, it's kind of like, um, fucking... Aztec calendar, world is gonna end, where everyone was talking about it and nothing really happened. Okay, we got that film okay. out of it. That was terrible. Mm. Yeah, we did get some really shit movies. Hmm. Uh, okay, I uh, I write down that observation. It just seems like a if it's a piece of the puzzle, it's not gonna help us. Um, you're you're still getting really quiet sort of vibes. Um, you kind of don't feel the lingering sort of shadow of Mr. Tentacles behind your uh, shoulders right now. Um, but when you're writing this down, you do sort of get like a shiver up your spine, um, which is almost anticipatory. Is mm. the word you would maybe go for? I underline it three times. Um, you, that shiver fucking stays. <laughs> Got a 
good feeling about this. That's what I say to everyone else. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, is anyone else sticking around to try and figure something out, or would you all like to move on and make some? To the pub. To the pub. Um, I'm gonna sit underneath the water for mm-hmm. a little bit and just mm-hmm. try and keep watch, essentially. Mm-hmm. Um. um so I'll stick. Are you gonna tell anyone that? Yeah. No, probably. Okay. I'll just wander off. Uh, give me a perception check. If you're gonna go underwater for a bit. Bang. I got a mm. two. Very cool. <laughs> Isn't it? Um, I was thinking I'll wander off like, oh, they can't have gone too far. Yeah. So, um, you just sort of sit under the water for a bit. And as much as you would like to investigate and have a look around, oh, the feeling of water on your skin is so good. It is a dude, right? nice cold ocean today. Oh. You just, you're just you just sat there in absolute bliss. And you're not you know, thinking about your surroundings at all. Glad I ever leave home. <sighs> Man. Cool. cool. See you guys later then, I guess. Rip. Uh, a couple of you would have seen him wander into the ocean, just so you're aware. Mm-hmm. So you do know where he is. So he obviously, if you want to make yourself to the pub, you actually can. So he's just wandered into the ocean. Hmm. Oh. I mean, I guess I'll go and see if he's alright. Yeah, boy can breathe underwater, man. Oh. Yeah. I'm a fish. I'm a beaver, I don't know these things. He's a fish guy. Are you, uh, are you drowning? Um, a small, like... I'm fine. Okay! And then I'll just leave. Blow thumbs up. <laughs> Good job, man. Caster's never met fish people before. Life lifeguard caster. More of a freshwater aquatic creature. Mm. Oh, sorry, what was that? Was I sort of insensitive there? Get my terminology wrong. For the... <laughs> no, I'm saying you're 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 a beaver. That's yeah. Oh, I see. Probably right. live in water a lot, but um, yeah, but not <laughs> seawater, I imagine. No, yeah, we we, have, we build dams, you know, so we don't have to bother with the normal water. Is it to, really to keep the sea out? Exactly. Oh, defense of the Great Ocean. Yeah. We're gonna build a dam. We're gonna make the elves pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right. Uh, are you are we going to the pub? Hmm. Gab's already there, so. Gab, run. Send it, I guess. <laughs> Oh, you move your way over to the pub. Um, <clears throat> it's a fairly busy day. Um, it's there's there's a bit of quiet over the pub right now in some areas. Like some people have definitely heard the news about what's happened today. Um, but it's uh, a sunny day. They're serving food. They've got loads and loads of drinks going out. Um, and there is. Uh... Person behind the bar. Um, they are like a they're very they're so tall it's like eight foot these really high ceilings here uh they're like eight foot and got this like soft downy kind of like uh fluffy skin like a deer and they've got these long big droopy ears um and a and a soft sort of um servine face um, but it's, it's like humanoid, but if it like a humanoid was like almost deer like, and they've Ooh. got like long, long matted hair that's like been twisted into um, like locks and um, very soft eyes, and they're just like this huge, huge fur bold. Um, and she like looks at all of you, wander in, um, and immediately pulls out a few tankards, um, and she's just like. Well, what can I get to all of you this evening? Well, Bo had it. What's on the menu? Well, we've got plenty of different drinks. Um, we've got lots of ales. I've got a special mead at the moment. Um, 
anything that takes your fancy, really. Do you uh, have a water? I have plenty of water. Yes. And she oh, pulls out a big brilliant. like um, it's like a, it's like a mini oh, no. keg, and puts it on uh, the bar and just puts a couple of cups out, and it's just like you can help yourself to the water. I take the keg. Oh, it is made out of wood, I assume. <laughs> a wooden keg thirsty. full with water. That's it mine. Is. Thirsty boy. Okay. Um, so anything else I can get. I'm just gonna walk off with the keg. <laughs> you absolutely can. It's yours. Fuck it. <laughs> yep. I'm off. Well, it is like about the size of your body, so yep. you're dragging it. it. Sure. I'll buy a round of whatever for me and my compatriots. I'll have a mead. <laughs> Whiskey. Uh, do you do any cocktails? Um, I absolutely can do cocktails. Can I have a porn star um, martini? Oh, of course. Um, Jeez. I I, sh- I should still have um some uh passion fruit. So Thank let God. me get that done. Uh, they fucking fully whip out the fucking bartender <laughs> <laughs> like full gear. <laughs> they whip. They like rip their fucking shirt off and it's a full tuxedo. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, but they uh, pour all of, the, all of your drinks for you. Um, it is uh, like a very ye olde porn star martini where they have just sort of like slammed the ingredients together and then thrown a slice of nondescript fruit in the top. Um, oh, my favourite. Jeez, love. You're very well. Um, are you here to stay the night as well in one of our rooms or just... We're, we're actually here on a uh, fact-finding mission, as it were. Oh, of course. What are you doing? Well, that... if, you, if you would like to say, at least. Sure. Well, it's uh, about them poor dead folks down uh, down by the by the sea there. Terrible business, that. Oh, yes. Terrible. Terrible business. <laughs> we we uh we heard they might have some, uh, some friends around here that we could talk to, uh, may have some more information about happenings and goings on and such deep or, or you might well yes i i've been here for many years oh so okay excellent i've i've been bartender in uh this town for the last um ni- nine, 90 years oh oh that'll well Holy shit. excellent uh yeah so they, it, was, uh... It, it was it was a late um a, a late career i picked up uh, i was about um about a hundred and ten when I picked it up. So, well, the same keeping the same tavern going for ninety years is a mighty fine achievement, I must say. Well, yes, uh, we we furbolgs we do like to find something we enjoy doing and then just go for it. <laughs> so and I like we, foods. Sorry. So the uh, we heard them them fellows have been. Uh, They'd heard about some kind of treasure or map or some kind of oh yes shit that may be related to why they were killed. Do you know anything oh, about I, that? I, yes, I remember. They they came in from a um a fishing trip one day, um and they were all so excited, um and they bought they bought lots and lots of rounds that night, um but uh, while they were a few drinks in, um they they showed me. Um, this this map um, that was um, it, it was of a of a temple of some sort, um, and it had like a sort of um, a, a small marking in the top that uh, sort of moved wherever you like pointed the map. It was very strange. It was like a moving parchment, huh. um, but. Uh, they, they they spoke of this temple um, and holding like treasures, um, and there was one in particular that is. Um, it was spoken about for a long, long time in in certain um, areas, but people believe that Valapetri, the it's uh, the like ancient city that was just like lost underground when um, the three titans fought over the world. Um, it was locked up, but people believe that it might have opened up, um, and the key to it might be in this temple. Um, but that's all just legend and silly drunk men. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's just 
somewhere where some pirates have hidden some treasure. Hmm. Any uh, friends of those men, in, uh, those fellers, dead fellers in here tonight? None that were there on the expedition when they found the maps. Um, there's one sailor who still um, is around, but they're, they're, they're a bit of a, um, a hermit these days because of the incident that happened about ten years ago now. Same as today, um, but yeah, he, he's a bit of a hermit. Uh, where went, might we find this individual? Um, you'd be able to find him down. Uh, he has a small hut on one of the beaches. Um, he usually just stays locked up down there. Have a uh, name we could we could call. Um, his name is Kriya. Kriya. Kriya, yes. Huh. All right. Well, I think that'll that that that'll do us for information. Uh, thank you, and uh, well, um, do me. En- enjoy your drinks for the evening. If you need any more, just just shout me, and I'll I'll come over. Thank you kindly. You're very welcome. Bert Trouble. <laughs> S- Selena. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 Bert Trouble. <laughs> I don't know. Just, and here's one walk. last track to take us out. He just says his name and just walks off a little bit. Bert Trouble <laughs> turns heel. <laughs> That's a very endearing character trait. I like it. Um, uh, yeah, she's gonna stand at the bar, uh, just pouring more drinks for people. Every now and then she'll like put some more like fresh food out from the kitchen, it's like it's just a free reign that you can just go up and take plates from. Um, but yeah, you uh, have the evening to be at the pub. Uh, if there's any plans that you guys want to make with each other of what you want to do ahead of time, uh, or if there's anywhere that you want to go specifically, or people that you want to try and seek out. Um, there are also a couple of patrons in here who are just, like, playing cards. Um, and How... Do we have uh? any money? Any of us? I don't. <laughs> yeah. Gabba loses his money, money very fast. I spent mine on fucking cigars. Uh, I've got 25 gold. Okay. I uh, we're, something. Uh, we're a collective, right? So we have 25 gold. I have 25 yeah. gold. Yeah, we. I have 25 gold. Uh, oh, I didn't take you for a capitalist, Kester. <laughs> Wait, wrong one. Some kind of <laughs> <pink hole. laughs> Sorry, you all look alike to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not sure how well, I look yeah. like that little beaver man, but the three uh... foot beaver versus the <laughs> tall cowboy. I'm six foot nine. In his defense, you all probably just look like legs. No, I'm six foot three on Earth. Six foot nine on the astral plane. Mm. Yeah, I was lose th- a bit of height because the gravity is different. Anyway, um... <laughs> I was. Thinking... I'd like to. Uh... Oh, stop! But good well, go on. I was thinking generally. But it's time consuming, but we could probably between us, Ransom and I, we could probably figure out crafting some fire resistance potions, but we're probably gonna need money and time to do it. Cause it'd be nice to have Well uh, I don't know how crafting really works. I am something of a tinker. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um let me have a look at my long list of magic items that I can make and uh, see if there's anything like that. In the meantime, Ransom would like to grab herself a big old plate of meat and uh, chow down. Oh, yeah, you can get a big fucking uh, plate of, like, fish and seafood. They've got, like, one of those classic southern, like, seafood boils. Whereas in, like, one of those really good, like, um, seafood sauces, like it's all spicy and tomato-y and you just get like a bag of fucking shellfish that has been cooked with a bunch of vegetables so you can just yeah. eat through it. give me a fat plate of that. <laughs> um, you're, yeah, you chow fucking down, dude. Um, you are a tinkerer, but you're not an alchemist, so you wouldn't be able to make any potions. You definitely cater more to like uh, magic items and stuff. Yeah, I'm just wondering uh, if I can make any kind of magic item that does mm-hmm. do I that. I don't have any kind like, of like fire resistance. Do you need, is yeah. it like alchemical tools and proficiency, or is it like a? Uh, uh, yeah, I, so I you can know. have a proficiency. You can have proficiency in um, like an alchemy set. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's know. something that you can do. Okay. 
I don't have that. Um, <laughs> you could probably find a way to make an item uh, that could be imbued with a fire resistance. Um, that could definitely be something that you would have to research. Uh, you'd have to know, you know, you'd have to have some sort of idea about fire as an elemental magic and how to counter that. Um, so you can absolutely do some like research and have a look a look around. And you have recently fought some fire creatures um, and elementals and spoke to Finch about things. Um, so you would you would have a pretty good chance of doing that. I can make a cloak of billowing that <laughs> billows dramatically in the wind, even when there is no. Don't know if that That's helps. <laughs> very oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, no, that is very cool. <laughs> You just make a hero cape that is always. It's like a, it's like uh, you've made Beyonce hair, where it's always being blown yeah. back. It's great. There's always a fan that. in front of Beyonce <laughs> that moves with her. Might do that instead of doing anything useful. Um... Yeah, you could. <laughs> I like your style. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I if you do want to like hunker down and like spend some time mm. concentrating on like researching fire resistance uh, and how to apply it to an item. Um, I can let you do like a fucking arcana check uh, for a little bit. Uh, I, I'm thinking more like long, t like it'll take a while, like mm. a couple of sessions or something. So I'll, I'm having it. I'll yeah, do, I mean, I'll you can do, do an arcana yeah. check to see if you could figure out what you're going to need to do and what you might need to collect for it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you can, one of you can roll with advantage or you can both roll independently of each other. Ah, let's both roll up. That's more fun. Yeah. What are we rolling, sorry? Arcana. Arcana, yes. Okay. 19. Mm. Uh, 10. <laughs> okay. Um, you figure out that obviously you'd need an item that you want to imbue something with. Um, you could most likely put it on a ring, so like a, f a ring of fire resistance. Those are very easy to come by, uh, but obviously that is like a one thing for like one person. You'd have to get multiple different rings um if you wanted to do it a lot of times um you would need um oh what are they called they're like you would need a fire opal um and you would need some sort of residue from a creature that is imbued with a sort of elemental magic that is aligned with fire so one of those fire elementals that you would have fought um, any sort of creatures that are from like the like the fire like uh, realm, like that different plane of existence. Uh, anything that's maybe primordial in nature, it might work. Um, and you would need a lot of time to imbue that stone with it, put that stone in that ring, and like make sure that you can actually imbue the magic in it to make it work as well. Mm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I can't really make anything just off of being an artificer. Okay. Cool. Well, keep that in mind. I cheat. Wicked. Is there anything that you do want to do as an uh, as a artificer while you're here? Because you've got some downtime, you can absolutely start like building some stuff. Because I know Not you really. wanted to maybe help, um, maybe alter or add to some of your friends' like gear and stuff. Well, I probably should do that at some point in there. Um... I think I can give someone like a plus one to uh, one of their weapons. Very cool. Um, um, I think if you did that, you would have to have uh, a couple of chats with some of the characters and see who you would want to give the um, bonus to. See mm -hmm. who you like the most. <laughs> we can do auditions. I don't, do auditions. What, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck weapons anyone's got. So. <clears throat> no, nor do I. So uh, let's find out, I guess. Who's uh who's around? Um Castor is over in the corner, um, with a keg the size of his little body full of water. Um Jeff is uh I assume sort of uh sat about um with his book with a little drink. Um mm. 
Gab is drinking uh, his porn star martini, uh, which is definitely not a porn star martini, but who knows? It's a drink that is alcoholic. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, and Bert That's is around as well, helping you out with uh, figuring out how to make this uh, ring. Um, so there's plenty of people around that you can grab and talk to. Uh, let's have... Oh, my God. Uh, let's have a chat with the young caster. Buongiorno. Hello, my little friend. How how are you doing on this fan day? Ah, bueno. I uh, your, I have my water. Yes. Oh, it's a very good. It's made of wood, strong wood too. Uh, yes. I see that. Can I tap on that? Oh, absolutely. Yes, oh. please appreciate the wood with me. Cool. <laughs> would you like a drink of water? I I certainly would. Yeah. Oh, bueno, bueno, bueno. Oh. You'll have to get your own though. This one's mine. So I can't drink from your bow. No, no, no. You see, this is uh, this is my water. I just made it, got it made especially. Okay, I guess I'll drink from my horn of literal never-ending water that we all have. Then, yeah. Uh, yep. uh... Ah, very good. Very good. <laughs> I'll take a swig. Ah, uh, I... Cast. Ah, yes. Yeah, see, you... we've been adventuring together a while now. Let's see, it's been a few days, yes. Uh, it, thank you for lending me your shoulders in the, oh, the land of the fire. Oh. oh, that's that's absolutely no problem, my young friend. I uh, saw that that made you mad uncomfortable. Yes, I do, not, I do not like the fire. The fire burns the wood. I have seen it. It's, uh, oh, it's... <clears throat> no, no, no good. No, no, no. No? <laughs> for fuck's oh, sake. I'm just, just going like, to stare. Into the water, having a slight, slight uh, flashback. Back in the room, Caster. Back in the room. Ah, sorry. I was, uh, I was reminiscing. You know. Ah. Uh, where, where are you from? Well, um, technically from the uh, the astral planes. I, oh, very nice. Yeah, very nice. I hear the weather's very cold there. It's it's pretty cold. Not much happens. It's uh, I mean, literally, time does not move. So uh. That sounds very boring. It is very boring. That's why I uh, I landed here where, uh, you know, there's adventure to be had. Ah, yes, many adventures. Many adventures. This is the first <clears throat> time I have left home for a long time. So I am having a good time with you all. Yes, yes. Oh, well, that's absolutely fantastic. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, yes. Everyone was most keen for me to leave. So I uh, am <laughs> very, very happy to be here. Why was that, little man? Ah, uh, well, you know, I uh, I would be what my family might call uh, clumsy, you see. Uh, but, uh, you know, I uh, would always try my best, always always told my old papa, and my papa would always tell me, oh, Castor, you're a fucking idiot, but I'm sure he meant it in a nice way. <laughs> right, <laughs> uh, yeah. so you're not I... very uh, skilled in the old martial prowess. Ah well, I have my bow and arrow. You see, I was. Uh, they sent me off to uh, bow and arrow school. I think it had another name. Right. Uh, that's all I really did there. Probably. Yes, uh, uh, the classrooms weren't really built for it. You know, they they said, "Oh, Casta, get down from there." While I was practicing, and then everyone else had books and things. But I got very, very good. Did you ever happen to read any of the books? Uh, I no, I never got taught to read. I was too busy with the bow and arrow. You see, learning how to uh, fight and conquer. You know. I right. come from a proud family, you know. We, you, uh, you any good at that? Uh, see, see, I once hit an apple. <laughs> <laughs> you hear someone turn around from their bear and go, whoa. <laughs> what, what do you mean you hit an apple? With what? Well, the apple was far away and I fired an arrow in it. <laughs> How far away yeah. was the apple? Oh, uh, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> You know, like I had to squint to see it. You see, so like right. every, if you, you see where the the uh the pier is out the window. Oh, that that's mighty far. It? No, no, I wasn't that far. No, you oh. but you see where the pier is. <laughs> I see so where I'm, the pier is. Yeah. yeah, imagine that was like uh maybe uh quite a lot closer, <laughs> like much closer to the window, and uh, about about that much. So from maybe like five feet away. Uh, how tall are you? I'm I'm six foot three. It was uh, say you lie down, maybe half <laughs> half of you away. Right, but it was a good shot, you know. Yeah, that sounds absolutely dazzling. 
Thank you. Thank you. I was very proud. Oh, right. Well, I'm glad we've had this chat. Um, <laughs> oh, me too. Very nice talking to you. Uh, what, what is it you wanted? Uh, just, you know, just a word, I guess. Uh, ah, bueno, bueno. Well, uh, get yourself some water and we can chat more, you know? Yeah, um, absolutely. I'll, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, little man. Au revoir. No, that's the wrong language. Uh, uh, see you later. <laughs> Uh, goodbye. Ciao, surely. Ciao. Ciao. Yeah, that's the one. Ciao. 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 That's the Italian one. Ciao. It's Ciao. the same. Okay. I guess I'll talk to Gabba then now. I'll sidle over to him. All right, Gabba. <laughs> Hi, Gabba Grubitz. Howdy. How, uh, how are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Awful mess with these uh, corpses in the water. Who? The corpses in the water, sir. Uh, the bodies that we found N not more than 10 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. Right. Been keeping yourself busy with other things, I assume. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you could say that. What are you up to? Drinking this porn star martini. Right, that's it. Uh, treating you well? Uh, it's the drink treating me well. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, <laughs> isn't that fantastic? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Happy to hear it, in effect. The bartender yeah. is watching this interaction, and you can see her just sort of go, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeesh. <laughs> How's your uh, fighting skills? Well, uh, pick a target. I'll kill him right now. What do you got? Weapons? Pick, pick magic? a target. I'll kill him right now. Please don't do that in, in my <laughs> It's Sorry. It's purely hypothetical, man. Uh, more misclick. My bad. Um, <laughs> well, I got this staff. And he pulls out staff. Right. <laughs> it's very boring looking. It's just a bit of wood. Right, don't, and I got all, don't and I got all these. Don't let A bit of what? Don't. Guess if Back you were uh, able on my staff, I will kill you. Oh, fuck you. Right, anyway. Uh, yeah, then I have all my insects as well. Right. And then he's going to swarm of flies. I think uh, Yeah. Okay. They are. <laughs> yeah, these little, these little geezers can uh, be, do a bit of damage. You were just covered in flies, Ransom. Just is foul. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start, you know, hitting him off. Very gently, Gabba Grubert. Right. I'm not trying to kill you flies. Get off him. Yeah, get, get off it. What the hey, fuck are you doing? Look, just, just take him back to yourself there, sir. Fine. Yeah, well, all the flies fly back into Gabba. They are the, you can't see any anymore. So, Magically, they're all gone. Yeah, you see him crawl back under his fucking like his skin flaps from where he's had boils burst and shit. Uh, they crawl back into the staff. <laughs> One just crawls up his nose and doesn't come out anywhere else. <laughs> anyway, you were saying? Very disgusting. <laughs> I just wondered what kind of weaponry you had and uh, whether I could help with that, but I'm not sure I could, you know, What's craft it to your. You? Well, uh, just to lend a helping hand to strengthen the team. Oh, so. well, I, well, I've actually got a thing you can do for me, actually. Oh, for. Yeah, go on. <laughs> she's so kindly offered. Uh, who are the magic police? I, I thought we were the magic police. Yeah, yeah, of course. But we haven't really got like an emblem, have we? So if you could make me a magic police uh, emblem, that'd be really good. Right, I'll. And you know I'll what? Make it magical, in it, so like people will believe me. I could actually work on that. I think at some yeah, point. Yeah, that'd be pretty good, actually. <laughs> I'll have a I'll have a look into that for you. Right, um, you can make it like shoot lasers. Well, uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure what a laser is, but uh. Right, right, okay. I guess, uh, I guess we'll see. Well, um, I can I can't really pay you though, I think. Well, we're a little community here, aren't we? We're yeah, commune, like you said earlier. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, I'm I've got no money. Right. No, I'd like another drink. Okay, that's that's absolutely fine. I'll I'll toss 
the barkeep another however much it is for another round of drinks. Um, she catches it <clears throat> in the air uh, and she presents you with some more drinks. This time, mm-hmm. Gabba, you were given a very flowery looking cocktail. It is Ooh. baby pink and it has a little rose floating in the top. Nice. What's this? Um, this one, um, I like to just call, um, like, it's like a, it's like a Turkish delight type thing. It's, it's, it's rose flavoured. Um, right, what's Turkish? Get, it's, it's, you know, like the birds. Um. Right, yeah. Uh, and it's gonna get you fucking slaughtered, okay? Oh, yeah. It's only booze, there's no... All oh, right. Nothing, there's nothing to cut it in there. I like the cut of your jib, lady. I mean, give. I love. I like alcohol very much. Yeah. In, when I used to live in the forest, we would just eat fermented apples and just get shit faced every <laughs> night. Holy shit! Sounds like a wonderful commune. It was lovely. <clears throat> um, but now I make more booze. Oh, have you got a lot of money as well? Do I have a lot of money? Yeah. No, absolutely not. Oh. Yeah, all right. Furbolgs don't engage with uh, monetary value of anything. Why don't we just pay you then? <laughs> um, I just like to collect them. Right. Can I see your collection? I don't have it anymore. What? Right. I donate them, um, you know, once every few months, but I like to see what coins I can get from people. But you don't actually have to pay for anything. But you've already given me this now, so thank you. All right. Fair enough. (laughs) No, I I, I take other ways of payment. Um, As soon as you step through that door, I know your entire history as as a person. So I take secrets as currency. Oh. Hell yeah. That's very weird. (laughs) Thank you. Love her. (laughs) Right, well... I guess I'll uh, go talk to Bert. I think Bert's the last remaining person to speak to about this. You forgot about Goff as well. Points in the darkest corner of the I room. Goff wasn't there. Uh, no, well, it's Pef Go- that's not around. Oh, it's yeah, Pef that's yeah. not around. Yeah, yeah there's like is... a particularly shady corner <clears throat> of the room, I assume. Yeah, well, what is uh, Goff yes, doing absolutely. here? Uh, <laughs> Goff's doing a little right. He's, uh, he's very concerned about this whole... People, cool. this this whole this whole thing, everything, everything. So you see, you, you see Jeff uh, in concerned. the darkest corner with like a small drink, head in hands, staring at his diary. Basically, yeah, <laughs> he's having yeah. like a little. He's having a moment. Y- you know when people have spent too much time on the internet and they think like everything's important. Yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. it's like the fucking uh, always sunny meme where it's like the conspiracy wall. Yes, yeah, yeah, precisely. It's all precisely. connected. That's Jeff's brain, yeah. I'll talk to Jeff then. Hey hey there, fella. Looks like you might need to touch some grass. Ransom. <laughs> um, I've been thinking, Ransom. Right. It's all it's all connected. <laughs> oh, please do tell me more. Everything. So uh, the beaver, the swimming man, the fish, I mean, man, the, the invasion, Hendry, Hendry, the fire, gin, thing, the, my patron, it's all connected. My patron. <laughs> my patron. <laughs> <laughs> so are you patron. saying that some kind of fate drew us all together? I don't know what, but something did, and I, I don't know. I can't figure it out. I can't get my head around it. Do you want any help with that? I don't know if you can help. Read this. And I push my diary over and it's just <laughs> incomprehensible shorthand <laughs> scribblings. Okay. <laughs> I guess yeah, I'll you, stick you, there. You glance down at the book and it is like, there's like tear drops like, like stained into the pages on some of them. There's like rips and tears. There's like things just like slapped in there and stuck down. Just scrollings over scrollings. Question marks everywhere. <laughs> Can I get you a drink, buddy? Would that make you feel any better? Please, yes. Please. Okay. Well, what is it you wanted? Oh, whatever you're having. 
Okay, I'll, uh, I guess I'll, I'll call the barkeep over and we'll have two more wonderful cocktails. Yeah, she'll bring them over and she'll absolutely bring you a couple of like nice cocktails. Um, the very, very, very tall Long Island uh, iced teas. Oh. They're in like, they're pint glass Long Islands. Yeah, it's good I can breathe underwater. <laughs> Well, get that down here, and uh, hopefully you're, you're feeling a little bit better. Uh, get it down here. Get it yeah. down here, lad. That's right, old. That's right, old. I'll be right. Just in one. Jesus. Pretty much, yeah. Oof. Pretty hot. See my gills fluttering. <laughs> <laughs> Run some sort of sweaty. <laughs> um, uh, while I'm here, Jeff. Um, I just, I can't quite remember what kind of weapon it is you use, if you do. Well, I don't I try not to use it. I prefer to use magic, but I've got a pretty handy spear that looks a bit like a fishing spear, but it's not actually, it's just a normal spear. Right. And how adept are you with that? Pretty crap, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's more for show. All right, that's fair enough then. I hear. <laughs> Don't know how much I can help you with that one, to be honest. I'll, uh... Got anything for an Eldritch Blast? Ah, uh, well, I got my very own Eldritch Cannon. I, uh... mm. We're a very Eldritch team, actually, aren't we? We've got a uh, me, Bert, and uh, yourself. Mm, it's pretty, pretty common, really, isn't it? Yeah, you'd think it'd be significantly more rare, but uh, seems like being eldritch is a pound of penny around here. Quite vanilla, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, uh, I guess I'll end my journey with Bert Cherville, mm-hmm. who actually uses a weapon. So uh, I think I know <laughs> how this might be going. <laughs> right, oh, have you decided who you're going to be giving your plus one to? Probably top Burke. Well, but Bert, you use a sword, don't you? Indeed. I, I just, that, that's your main weapon. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got yeah. a javelin, but, you know, that's for... Uh, that's, <clears throat> that's just for fun, really. <laughs> that's for when he's in a silly, goofy mood. Yeah. <laughs> Need to say something further when away. I, when I'm playing darts and I really want to make the statement. <laughs> right, well, Bert, uh, we've got ourselves in a strange situation with these folk here. Uh, one of the oddest parties we've ever adventured with, I, I reckon. Uh, uh, I, I agree I've been learning uh, one or two new things about uh, tinkering, crafting. Mm. And uh, I think I might be able to... Uh, Improve your sword somewhat. Oh, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Wonderful. Cool. Right, I will imbue Bert's a sword with um, plus one. Oh. Yeah, you'll have to take the sword off of him for a little while. To hit. Um, yeah. And uh, so if, if Bert is cool with giving up his sword for a little bit, yeah. uh, you can absolutely take it away I, uh, and I, I, focus I, on it for a bit. I trust Ransom. To, to, to keep on my sword, but I, I, I would just uh, anybody else. Besties. Say that out loud in character. Yeah, no. no. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't, know, I don't know how your rules work, but I might need to, like... Is it like a, a rest you need to you to make it better or whatever. I don't know how it works. Uh, yeah, what are the specifics on your, like, tinkering? Uh, it's at the end of a long rest, if I can remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Um, let me have a, a quick gander. Yeah, I'm looking the, uh, in the old book right now. It's Tasha's, right? It is Tasha's, yeah. Tinkering. I believe it's the end of a long rest. Mm-hmm. As far as I know. Uh, on me. I don't know why I've got this. Infuse item? Is that it? It's enhanced weapon. Uh, 
Magical tinkering? No, that's not it. It's enhanced weapon. I can't f I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Uh, I'll skulk away and start working on it anyway. That's right. We'll say that you just take it for the yeah, evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, and you work on it for a little bit. So, but you're going to be without your main weapon for a little while. Um, What's that? Got my javelin. Um, Caster, do you want to roll a d100 for me if you yeah, want to cool. look at your uh, Rubik's Cube for a little bit? Absolutely. <laughs> freaking loot you. Remember how to roll. 82. 82. Oh. Um, yeah, you uh, get through the Rubik's Cube for a little bit longer. Uh, you can't quite seem to get it, but you're having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, you can find that you can make some very cool patterns if you line certain squares up with each other. Um, but yeah, nothing really happens this time around. Damn. One day. It'll happen one day. We need to keep track of which numbers that you've actually rolled. I, I would hope you're doing that, because I have not been. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> um, right. Uh, what is Pef up to over in the ocean? Uh, have you decided to come back yet, or are you still just hanging out? Uh, I don't know if Pef would have even noticed people had gone. Uh, you it would have was... noticed when uh, Caster sort of wandered off, okay. uh, but I don't think you would have known. Wh you wouldn't know where they're going unless they told you specifically. Um, fair. I guess Pef will have a wander around town for the night. Then you maybe if do. doesn't there's... find anyone. Yeah, there's plenty of people sort of wandering yeah. around. Um. Uh, there's, you know, it's getting darker uh, in the evening when you sort of wander back from the ocean um, and there's this figure stood um, sort of in one of the alleyways that you walk past uh, and it's it's almost like a sort of sense that you get when you walk past and you get that shiver up your spine that there's someone nearby uh, but it feels kind of similar to you in a way that you can feel their sort of blood boiling in a way that it shouldn't and there's something rawly elemental about them um, but they're quite far down this alleyway uh, that you walk past uh, and they're not looking at you or anything, they just stood down near the end um, with a cloak on. I can't quite see their face from the shadows. Uh, hmm. is, is this just like down a passing alleyway? Yeah. So you've been walking through the streets for a little bit um, and you walk past the entrance to an alleyway. And you can you just like you feel that sort of like shiver go up your spine when you walk past it, so you look down and you can see them sort of down that alleyway. Uh can can I just like go into the alleyway a little bit mm -hmm. and then just like lean up against a wall see what they do first? Yeah, absolutely. Um they are not looking at you. Um, but they turn their head very slightly in your direction. You don't see their eyes, you don't see their face. They just sort of shift their head a little bit. And then they stand away from the wall and they continue down the alleyway for a few steps. And they stop and look back at you for a moment, expecting you to follow. Alright, I'll, I'll bite. Mm -hmm. I'll um, see if anyone else is kind of reacting to this. There's... Not really anyone around. Um, there's a few people walking around in the streets, but no one's really paying attention. It just looks like you are hanging out um, in an alleyway, really. Ah, oh, fuck it. And then I'll, I'll, I'll have a run after them. Okay. Yeah, you follow them down. Um, you get to this sort of alcove bit where it's like 
the back of a bunch of buildings that all like connect together. So it's like a little cubby hole of buildings uh, in this alleyway. Um, and this person like pulls their hood back, and you can see um, they have like really cracked rocky skin um uh and through these cracks it lo- it looks like you know when mud dries and then it expands and cracks it looks like fissures uh in mud or earth um and in those fissures you can see like a glowing sort of red light underneath it looks like magma running through their veins um and they stand there for a moment and just look at you and look down at your arm that has been uh you know cut at the wrist uh to remove the hand um and they nod at it and then look at you and sort of wait and expect you to say something so um you got a light um, they hold up their finger like a little finger gun and a light they they click their fingers and then a light appears between the thumb and the f- uh, fourth finger, finger and they light it up for you and hold it towards you ah oh, fuck um shit uh... alright where are we going Where where's you uh... why are you, are you around here just looking for my friends. They've um, they, they wandered off without me. But why are you here? You know, with you're the same as me. Well, I don't know you, so let's not just jump to conclusions. Yeah, um, you have you have gin blood, yes. Well, yes, but yes, probably not the same as yours, right? Well, Listen, um, you're not lighting stuff on fire, are you? Not currently. How long you been here? Um, in this town. Yeah. Three weeks. All right. Why All right. are you, you here? Um, I don't know. It's just interesting. You see, they, uh... There's some merfolk attacking some mirrors. I've I've heard. Um, I've been sort of wandering around looking for this gin energy thing. I've. You know, have you seen all of? Hmm. And they like stop talking and look you up and down for a moment. We um we saw we saw some fire, but it's a bit far away from you. We had to um we had to teleport. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh sorry, my name's uh, my name's Jeffrey, by the way. Um Jeff Jeffrey. Jeffrey, yes. Okay. With a with a gu with a gu. Um, mm-hmm. um yeah, we got teleported away and uh, there was some fire and then I passed out for a bit. And I don't remember the rest, but we're here now. Um so um, I'd say don't go to is it the west, southwest. Don't don't yeah. go down south. Oh, if you're looking for something, southwest is probably where I'd look. Um, still, have you you've seen all the wildfires though? Yeah, that have started. Yeah, I was. Uh, it, it wasn't me, if that's what. It, no. No. Um. It wasn't me either. I'm uh, understood. Understood. I wasn't. Wouldn't, I wouldn't accuse you, obviously. Um, you know, it's over on Vilkale as well. Oh no, it wouldn't be, would it? <sighs> yes, rec- recently. Are there any water boys there too? I any, not, not like wait, any um, like water gin. No, there's been a distinct lack of the gins around recently. Oh, so I, 
been, uh, you know, I've been looking around to try and find anyone that could maybe understand, um, and I sort of, I don't know, I saw you from a distance and I saw your arm and it felt like there was something similar. Yeah. It's, um... So, I'm Finale, by the way. Oh, I... Mind if I call you Finn? Yes, you can call me Finn. Hey. Um, but uh, have you been to Vilkale recently? Oh, no, not since I was a kid. No, I've I've only heard from people who have managed to stay there. Um, they um, I mean, I don't know how it is on the on the surface, mm. but uh, they don't like him. They don't, uh, <laughs> You don't like you down there, and then you uh, go up, and they don't like you there either, because you look like a weird fish, or... Uh, yeah, or a strange rock person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. So, um, listen, I, I think um, we, we're looking for some... You can come with us if you want. Um, we're looking around for... Uh, I don't know if you've got friends you want to go to, but I'm sure that... You know, I, we picked I, up a fucking crocodile. Like we we we're down uh, there. I don't I don't know if I should um uh join you or anyone. I I think we should stay in contact in case because you're the first person like me I've found in a long time, and something is. I don't know. I feel like it's going to affect us quite badly if it carries on like this over on Vilkale, at least. Uh. People think the lamp is falling. People are always thinking it's falling. Yes, but recently it's, you know, the djinn are disappearing. Um, there's rumours that, you know, the, the ancient ones have come back for some reason. Um, the lamp is getting closer every day. Uh, Well, have you have you had any weird changes in your magic? Getting worse? Uh, <laughs> I um I was trying not to use it for that recently. It's um it's, it is it's feeling mighty uh mighty sweaty these days. But, it's getting um, hotter, isn't it? Yeah. I thought uh, so too. I'll uh, I'll pass them one of the infinite water bottles. The the probably they, pass some gabbers. They fucking glug it down. They're stood there for like a solid five minutes just chugging. Fucking great. Oh, that's quite good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's um. We 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 found a bloke, and he was in. I, I shouldn't be telling you. It, it we'll keep in touch, yeah. There's um You you know you know how to message me. Message spells or something or Um No, but I can pay for a messenger or something. We can be good old pen pals. Well uh, if you if you just if you just like you okay, what what we normally do in, in my culture is we write a little note we put it in a bottle, and then you cork on the top, and then you throw it as hard as you can into the water. I'll get it somehow. It'll be alright. Okay, uh -huh. I'll, I'll try that. Or I can just use my message spell, and I can talk to you. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? Is that alright, alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's do it your way. Let's, okay, uh... well... Um, I have, I have to go. Sorry, I I I come off a bit aggressive. Um, no, it, I, I. No, no, it's it's honestly it's it's my problem. Of um, I, I think it was from my upbringing as a child. I, okay, I just... let's not. We don't have to unpack this right now. It's oh, cool. It's yeah. cool. Um, we you know we've just met. Let's not you know open up so deeply, right? Yep. Cool. Yep. Okay. I do have to go though. So. Um, uh, yeah, me too. Um, take this, and they 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 press this 
it's like um it's like a marble. Uh, it's it's sort of like tennis ball size, but it's like a marble kind of, and it's like carved glass, um, and it has like the shifting uh, like vortex of water inside of it. And they mm-hmm. hand that to you, and they just they press it into your hand for a moment, and they look around really quick. Um, don't let anyone take this from you. Keep it safe. All right. It's got something to do with everything that's going on, uh, mm. and you might need it. I have one. You should keep yours. Wicked. Um, okay. See you around. See you around. And they um, fucking parkour their way up onto the roof, and they run away. That was fucking cool. Right. Um, uh, but I'll, I'll keep walking around and asking uh, but uh, You eventually yeah. wonder uh, <laughs> Hello? You, you wander back over into like the, the centre of town and you can hear a very busy bar uh, and you do sort of hear like the distant shouting of a gabber going Fuck it, get on the ground! Fuck it, get down! <laughs> <laughs> so you can you can wander your way over and find uh find the boys. Yeah. I'll um I'll find the boys hurriedly. Mm-hmm. I'll make haste. Yeah, you find um, them all in the bar. Um, listen, Wait. this, hang on, this, um, it's crazy, uh, nah, it's, it's all right. Can, can you have a look at, at this bowl? Uh, what one of you, uh, one of your magics? Uh, I, I, I guess. That's, that's Bert and Ransom, yeah? Right, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I... What do you want, oh. sorry, Peffrey? You want me to examine his bowl? Look at my balls. It's All a right. bit wet. Please oh. explain. <laughs> right, can I <laughs> investigate <laughs> Peffrey's you, bowl? Yeah. You can you hold it. Sure just can. Oh, thank you. Can I arcana Jeffrey's bowl? You, yes, uh, the check is going to be an arcana one. Okay. Right, oh. I rolled a 19. Mm. I rolled an 18. Huh. Wow. I believe, yeah. This is a deeply, deeply mm. elemental magical artifact. Um, you can't quite place what it is, but it is like a sealed um, piece of like um like water elemental magic um you get the feeling that it's sort of something that holds like a memory of an event almost or even just like this was captured during a moment of time and it was sealed up uh and kept that way forever and it has never stopped sort of swirling in that way huh um, it it feels old and it feels weird and sort of it, it it makes you feel sort of uncomfortable holding it. It's like if you were handed the fucking Rosetta Stone, you're like, I shouldn't be holding this. This is really important. Yeah. Um, Wait. Jeff, uh, as Peff walks into this room, uh, even from a distance, your fucking like hairs stand up on end. Um. Just knowing that something has entered this building. <laughs> yeah. So, um. Where, where'd you get this, Solo? Uh, somebody on the street gave it to me. They, um, they had. Um, A bunch of the patrons start looking around and seeming as if they're listening in on this conversation. The bar goes a bit quiet. Listen, um. Can, can one. You guys are crafty, yeah? I am. I'm like. I'm fr- really struggling here. Um, I don't know if you've noticed. I'm trying to carry too many things. Um, do you mind? Um, just. 
can, can you put it put the ball in the end of my stick, please? The end of, the end of my stick. I want to stick. It, just somewhere that I can hold it. And then, Do you not have a bag? I mean, yeah, but it's all. You want it on the end on the end of your staff, so it looks. Yeah, cool. I want to. I want to know where it is, and it yes, to look cool as well, admittedly. But it, I mean, that's in, that, I, I don't know what it is, but it sure, it sure would look cool yeah. on the staff. Right, right. Get out of, was some of the twine in my inventory, I guess. And uh, just, you you could do. Um, I'm trying to tie it to the end of this staff. You wouldn't feel entirely comfortable uh, tying this very nice carved glass ball to the end of this stick uh, with twine. Um, <laughs> fucking Fabergé egg! Um, it's like a Fabergé egg, yeah, it's, it's like a Fabergé egg. It's, uh, you wouldn't feel comfortable just tying it because you immediately feel like, oh, this isn't going to be secure enough at all. Do I have but some Gorilla Glue? You, oh, ye oldy Gorilla Glue. <laughs> yeah. You do you do feel a lot of eyes on you now in the bar. Tell you what. Gamma! Gamma! Yeah. You got any gunk? Uh, any what? Any gunk. Any like gunk. Just yeah. something Can I can I attach this priceless ball to the end I, of the I'm gonna stick? come over and bomb it on the ball. If Excellent. no one stops me. I'm gonna slowly my way over there. Uh Jeff, Goff, sorry. Um, makes his way rapidly over there. This this uh, priceless artifact, and um, you see me raise my fingers to my throat. Oh, it like once stop that gabber. Oh, you need, you need to put that. Oh, away. Oh, 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 oh. Can you not see that this ball is getting a lot of attention? And Three. I think that it would get a lot less attention if it was covered in vom. I don't. I think it would get a lot more attention if someone just randomly vomited on a ball in the middle of a busy bar. Why, why don't you just put it in your pocket? Come on. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in my pocket. All right. Same for lunch. We can deal with, deal with this in private. Yeah. Don't like that orb. Why not? Yeah. Just do gives you, me the heebie jeebies. Do you know something about what? Some, reminds me of something terrible. Oh, yeah? Uh, can I do an investigation, you only check in? Uh, yes, you can do the investigations. <laughs> well. Um. From an investigation, you you know you look over at the the carvings are very intricate. Um, they're sort of um, they're they're very fleur de lis kind of uh, curly um, intertwining um, like seaweed uh, and like you can see throughout the seaweed there's like a like a, a snake like beast covering this orb. Um, and uh, it's it's just it's something that you also feel that idea of like this is like a deeply old and important thing, um, and there's a lot of people in this bar that kind of can smell money on this thing right now. Uh, free. Well, um, you you wouldn't entrust this ball to me, would you? Uh. Why? I feel the need to research it very badly. I, I think know. it's related to everything that we've been looking for. Um, um, while you're talking to Jeff, he has this really fucking, like, he has, like, a shadow, like, sort of lurking behind his back. None of you ever really see his patron um, when he's just, like, getting these vibes, but there's, like, a weird, like, shadowy tendrils around his shoulders right now that you can just just barely see as if you were looking at like tarmac on a hot day um, and he's got this dark look over his face as well but, um, I, I, I would like to keep this um, if, if possible um, you, it was entrusted you. to me by someone I trust 
uh, yeah, just met him, but still. Um, um, like, I'll consider it. Je uh, Jeff, um, Goff, sorry, sorry. Um, and, um, yeah, miss. <laughs> I, I, I stare you hear someone very distantly go Whoa! <laughs> I stare blankly at Pef for a few seconds completely ignoring the vomit and go no worries Pef it's on just, shoes. Just, just, just a thought and then look down at my shoes and go oh, for fuck's sake <laughs> off to the bar to get some blue roll <laughs> someone comes over with a little fucking like hazard sign <laughs> uh, yeah so I shall put it in a pocket and be very aware of Jeff for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to give this to you. Actually, I, should... <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, there's a few people. Uh, like the the bar sort of picks up again. Uh, it gets a little bit loud again. Um. What are the rest of you doing? What's Ransom, Burton, uh, Caster up to? Drinking. Mute. Boogie on the dance floor. I heard nothing, so well, probably oh, okay. muted, yes. Well, I'm just, uh, you know, tinkering with the burnt sword, as it were. Mm -hmm. um, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> On the dance floor, shit. <laughs> Met her on the dance floor. Hey, I only have, I only have hey, asked for my dead wife, god damn it. Um, oh my god, whoa. <laughs> uh, oh, you could really hear the passion in there. Well, okay. uh, Stored the space-time continuum. Suddenly remember, um, Cleef. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to go and rescue him, if, if in... That was in this town, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Uh, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll go with you to yeah, that to that fucking wizard's house. Yeah. Let's go and get our little guy. You're gonna go find your boy. Yeah. Wait. No. We're coming. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. again, picking him up again. What is your problem with Khalif? I just don't like him. Oh, why? Eh. Uh, ah. Uh, right. I'm him. okay. I'm vetoing that. I'm gonna go and clip master. What? We're a commune, you can't veto. I think I probably can. Shut up, Michael. They're going power crazy, boys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? If I couldn't veto, then you'd have all the power and it wouldn't be a commune. Well, but, oh, there's more than two of us in this commune. Right. Uh, everyone who votes to go and collect our son, Khalif. Yep. See? Right, and if one that votes against, I mean, Cove can take care of himself. Yeah, he's a. All right, God, you've got the decided vote. I'll go with you guys. Right. Hey, he means it both guys. Maybe. Votes against. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, no. So who's going to get Cleef? I quite like the crocodile, actually. Yeah, yeah I'll go. I'll go. I made a he's promise a to that kid. Little guy. Yeah. I'll go with, but I'm going for that rat. I'm okay. taking that rat hostage. I shall also go. As to not just divide from the party. Yeah, so are you all making your way from the bar? Uh, yeah. Wonderful. Um, it's dark. It's dark out now. Um, you've been at the bar for a couple of hours, a few hours at least. Um... And you're all walking down the streets. Um, what's everyone's passive perceptions? Uh, Gee, I don't know. What an uh, excellent question. Passive uh, perception. Uh, Twelve. Uh, I have a plus six, so sixteen. Oh my god! What? Uh, Your passive perception? Holy shit! So that's sixteen. Not. Twelve. Yeah, I was say, that's. Oh, oh ten. So sorry. Nice. Mine's um, 10. Also 10. Mm. My path investigation is 17. Well, it, it, it comes from your wisdom, right? Yeah. My wisdom is 18. Yeah, your but... wisdom. Mm. Yeah. Well, no, d &D mail just high. tells me. <laughs> I've, um, uh, I've got proficiency, so yeah, just, just a plus 2. So I have proficiency oh. as well. So, I've... so you have 14 if you have plus 2 wisdom, right? 
No, I have plus four wisdom, plus two proficiency. That's plus six. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, passive perception is 15 or above. Is that just Gabba? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> you guys are all distracted <laughs> by my smell. Because <laughs> you make everyone's eyes burn around you. <laughs> They're always looking through watery eyes. Um, Gabba, when you're walking with everyone, uh, you like have like a little gathering of flies um, sort of peel out from a, a loose bit of skin, um, and you can hear them like crawl into your ear uh, and whisper little secrets to you. And one of the flies is like, "It's people watching, sir. People everywhere." Oh, right. Okay. Boys, boys, hey, keep walking, keep walking. Don't, don't turn around. Don't look at me. Don't do nothing. Okay. We're being followed. Huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, all of know. you suddenly become aware. There's like a few skulking figures, like following down the streets. There's like a group of three. There's a group of five. There's a couple of single, like people walking down opposite ends of the road, or uh, just watching you go past. They're all very much looking at Path. I actually know how to handle this, boys. So all right. I'm going to <clears throat> effectively aggressively shit myself and create a stink cloud, and we're going to run away while they are distracted. All right? Uh, running. Yeah. Could yeah. be good. Scatter. All right. Three, two, one. Me uh, the cast, wizard's house. Uh, I cast fog cloud. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, you absolutely do. You're gonna conceal the area so people can't actually see you leave. Um, and you're running towards the wizard's house that you were at? Oh, well. Uh, indirectly. Yeah, I think <laughs> we split up and meet up there. Like, Serpentine. Serpentine. Yeah, run, 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 like, through alleys and shit. I dive into the nearest manhole. Yeah. <laughs> Giggity. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I'm quite um, large, so I guess I just fucking run around the nearest corner and keep booking it. Sick. Okay. Um, there's. Let me just see. Oh my god. It's actually yeah. a pretty low roll from 4020. Yeah, that's pretty low for all four of those. Uh, but one of them uh, did work out. It's the first dice that rolled in the order. That's good. Um, Pef, have you split up with anyone in particular, or are you on your own? Um, I was considering it, and then we... I don't know if Pef would go with would anyone. You like, yeah, would you peel off with anyone specifically? Uh, um, Bert has sort of turned a corner, Gab has gone down a manhole, um, Cass has sort of just started running in a zigzag away from yep, everyone. I'm, I'm serpentining. I'll... Um, <laughs> I'll go with Caster, as he's probably the slowest if he's serpentining. Yeah. Um, and I've told everyone else about the thing. I don't know if you've heard about it, though. No, nope, I'm just kind of here for the ride. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. I'll go with Caster, then. I have very little idea of what's going on, mainly because I actively wasn't present. Good man. <laughs> the right, best roleplay possible. <laughs> Character wasn't there, so he wasn't there. He had emotionally yeah. and mentally clocked out. Yeah. Um, he started looking at his Rubik's Cube, that's all. Um, as you two start running off away from everyone else... Um... Oh, just a six. Um, as you're running, Pef, you feel like an arrow fucking shoots past your head, lodges in a wall next to you. It carries on. Uh, arrow after arrow just starts flying at both of you. Um, Good thing we're serpentining, so they can't hit. You us. are serpentining. That's why they only got a six. Um, <laughs> so Dutch. you are being chased are you by three people currently. Um, if you could, please. Uh, what? What's your? What's your? Um. AC? Speed. Oh, speed. 30 foot? Uh, 30 30 foot yeah. Perfect. Um, you're all staying at pretty decent speed with each other. Um, if you could roll me a d20, each of you. Mm. 
I'm sorry, Caster, I've put you through this. Ah, it's, it's okay. Nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, not 20. Let's go. Ooh, that's the sound effects. Wow, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> um, right, so. I wasn't paying attention. There's a little, there was a little, a little fire, fire crackle sound effect. I'm very happy with that. Kef, you, you managed to speed up pretty easily and you can slip away. You are just like sprinting it down these alleyways. Uh, and eventually, like, you are sort of being dragged back by a caster for a bit because he is quite slow. Um, and he like trips over at some point. Uh, the people running after you go straight past him. They do not fucking care about Caster whatsoever. But oh, when he falls in front of them, they sort of trip over for a moment. You have the opportunity to like peel off down a different alleyway. Um, is there is there like a if there's a crowd jump into a crowd? There's, it's, 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 like... it's 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 nighttime. Like there's not a lot of people around. Yeah. And Jeff heroically appear uh, in betwixt. <laughs> Peth and these people. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, Peth, you get the chance to like peel away and slip away because you see Jeff sort of <sighs> jump in. Um, I will also run away from Jeff. Beth, don't go. <laughs> I need your help to fight them. I need your help. Uh, oh, yeah. It, uh, oh, um, right. Uh, good luck. I'll tap you on the shoulder and cast enlarge on you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are fucking uh, a big Jeffrey now. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I? Um, that's fucking sick. Um, <laughs> Jeffrey and Big Jeffrey are separate characters. Don't talk to right. me or your son ever again. It's just Jeff and a smaller <laughs> Jeff. Hello, I am Big Jeffrey. <laughs> um, talk about Great Depression. Am I right? Wait. Uh, nice. I um, I cast me at cast me old tentacle down, uh, yeah. and then start running. After no worries. Cast. We definitely don't have to do combat for this. Uh, but yeah, you slap down the tentacle. Um, as you put it down, it feels feral at the moment. It feels awful. Um, and you see it just like grab one of these guys and just slam them into the ground. He is just like, he's he's fucking dead on impact. Like, this fucking tentacle is angry. And you hear this voice in your head just telling you exactly what you want to do right now. Um, and you now uh, you're now a large creature. Uh, you have advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. Um, yeah, so you've got the same speed, uh, but you can absolutely start chasing after Peth. Uh, I Misty Step after Peth. Brilliant. Uh, how far is Misty Step? Because uh, Peth is currently is about 30 foot ahead of you. It is 30 foot. You can Misty Step right up in front of him or just to the side of him if you wanted to. Uh, just up in front of him. Oh, you fucker. As you're running, path, you feel this, like... It's like when uh, a wave hits and you get that spray of, like, <clears throat> seawater, like that mist. Um, a mist, like, appears in front of you, and Jeff just, like, bursts into your field of view right in front of you, and you sort of, like, bump into him and, like, step back away from him. Um, if you could do, like, a dexterity saving throw for me, Peff. Why is it so many buttons? Uh, you don't fall over. Um, you like stop yourself just as you run into him, uh, and you can just like step back. But you haven't been like not prone or anything by this. And you two are facing off alone in an alleyway. I need to look at that all F. Not in this alleyway, mate. Come on, just uh, a peek. Um, <laughs> Show us your balls. <laughs> Give me a little look. Uh, uh, just a peek. Get your uh, ball out, Beth. 
I'm really rather you didn't do this, mate. Um, I don't uh, need to hurt you, Pef. I just it's... want to look at that orb. It's true, you don't need to hurt me. Um, uh, can I run up and try and do parkour up the wall? Uh, <laughs> sure. Do an athletic check. Uh, uh, <laughs> you, you, like, look around and you try to clamber up this wall that has, like, a, a pipe running down it, but your hands are sweating and you just, like... You, you slip off and you're stumbling around and you just you cannot get any sort of grip on any of this and uh, you're panicking a little bit. You're starting to feel the pressure in your chest. That made it look so easy. Fuck. Uh, listen, um... Why don't just we... Just one look at your ball. No, 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 why don't we share it? How about, <laughs> how about I give you the ball tomorrow? How about... I, I need to have a look at it first, alright? So, uh, please... Please don't. You have to look at it now, but I promise uh, this isn't about you. Uh, You're just unfortunate to have had it in your possession. Uh, 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 can I... I think I should give the ball to Jeff. I'm gonna, it's I'm down gonna, to you. I'll, I'll pass the ball to Jeff. Uh, he's cornered me in an alleyway. Like, I, this guy, I, I didn't know Finn at all. Fucking take it, Jeff. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. I'm sorry I had to scare you like that, but I need to have a look at this. You you feel, Jeff, this, like, as it gets handed to you, like, this 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 pulse go through your body. It's like a sigh of relief. Um... And you you just want to hold this and keep this on you. This is like, if anything or anyone tried to take this from you, you would kill them. Okay. Like, you would tear them apart. This is yours. This is meant to be yours. And you can just feel, whenever you touch it in your hand, the, your grip around it is, like, angry. Please don't ask about the ball again, Beth. Ah. Uh, oh. Yeah, all right. Uh. He's just, Jeff has gone full psycho mode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he kind of strolls off and down the say, other way. I'll con Beth will continue to run from the other dangers, I imagine. Oh, yeah, Maybe. absolutely. Je Jeff don't give a shit about those people anymore. He's he's feeling strong. Yeah, you're you're getting you have a little rush. Um, you, you like that lingering feeling that is always just behind your shoulders. You can feel like the pressure, sort of like it feels like someone's squeezing your shoulders in like uh, like one of those like supportive like little like squeezes. Um, massage, and, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's like a little a little a little shoulder squeeze of like a well done. Um, and you feel that sort of feeling of something over your shoulder, um, just like leaning in and just being like, we can work with this. Good job. Keep a hold of it. Um, and you feel pretty smug about that weird little burst of power that you got over that. Mm. Uh, fucking psycho mode. <laughs> Jesus, Jeff. The rest of you absolutely have run away. No one was chasing you guys. Um, everyone was going after Pef. Uh, and you all, uh, one by one, stumble over into the wizard's house. Um, but you sort of get there first. Um, Gabba, you like crawl up from one of the fucking sewers just outside. Uh, Ransom, you have managed to get there quite swiftly. Castor is the last one who turns up. Apart from Jeff, who is very calmly wandering over. Mum, and you all, yeah, you all, you all commune back at your location. Why, why uh, were those, uh, those are people chasing us? No idea. I think they were chasing after Jeff's ball. 
Ja, what the fuck? Ja, vi gör det. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Right, uh, moving on. <laughs> cool. Easy as that. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> why, uh, why are we here again? Well, I'm here for the rent. Is he oh, right? The, ah, the, yes. The crocodile. The rat and the crocodile, the famous love story, yes. I'm just saying, the rat could teleport us around the world. The crocodile is effectively a handbag, but not quite yet. I mean, uh, raw, raw handbag. Are useful, no? Yeah, yeah, he's a raw handbag. Good expression. So uh, I'll be taking the rat if I can. I'm going to look for him right now. Yeah, break through the window. Edit release. Open the door. Like a normal person. I'm going to knock on the door first. <laughs> um, more polite. As you knock, you hear footsteps moving over to the door. Oh, shit. Um, right, footsteps? I, I was through the window. Oh, no, <laughs> immediately through the window, yeah. No worries. Um, <laughs> Gabba just letting you in from the other like, side. <laughs> you, knock on, you knock on the door, and you hear footsteps moving over, then you hear a crash of um, Gabba going through the window, and you just hear a... Shit! <laughs> Magic money! And you just say, Oh god, no, no, I haven't done anything, please! Get on your fucking floor! No, no, please! You have please. to drag your back! I haven't done anything, no! And all of you can <laughs> slam the door open, it's not locked. Um, <laughs> and you see a uh, an old man uh, in, like, like a, a like a sort of faded sort of cream white shirt, like bed pants. He's got like a long robe on, um, and he's got like a little pair of reading glasses on the end of his nose. He's got a pair of slippers, um, and he is like on his fucking knees with his hands behind his head, crying on the floor. handcuffs. handcuffs. Ah. I uh, no have handcuffs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, howdy, partner. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want for me? Uh, don't mind my associate. He's a moron. Um, we may have—I believe we may have met, but you were in a somewhat uh, scattered form, possibly the last time. I can't... Can I get up off the ground, please? Is he going to shoot me? Give me that, give me that run, Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. Take his wand. I don't have a wand. Oh, grab me staff. I, I don't have a staff. I've got a book. Kill him. I mean, take his book. Don't I, I kill me. Grab book. Okay, his book's just on a table somewhere. He oh, doesn't then, have it on him. He's in his pajamas. <laughs> Give me a rock, I see him. He's just like is shaking, trembling. All right, keep going, keep going. The all yours, Kaiser. Nah. Can I? Can I get up, please? No. He's he's just sat fucking knelt there, trembling. He's terrified of you. He doesn't want to speak. Why, why are we here again? <laughs> <laughs> to collect <laughs> our son. Our son. Have you, have you, have you seen a croc this anywhere? Is, this is the wizard's house where you left Cleef when you teleported. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Buongiorno, have you seen a small crocodile slash alligator slash weird looking lizard thing? Uh, what? Yes, he sort of has been my housemate for the last few days. Ah, oh, bueno, where is he? He's he's over in the bedroom. He's he's just he's on his little bed that I got him because I I just thought he needed a little bed. Ah, glad you got it. Okay, bye bye. Ciao ciao. He's just he's just fucking st- like sat there trembling. He's having the worst night of his life. I guess I'll head. Did he did he say a, did he say a room where he was? Yeah, over in the bedroom. Okay. I mean, I'll relay that information, I guess, to, uh... Well, I don't need to, you're all fucking stood here, you can all hear him. I'll just, I'll go to the bedroom. Uh, you walk in and see, like, it's like a little dog bed. Um, but Cleeth is sat up in it, 
like one leg crossed over the over the other. He's reading a little book. He's got his own pair of little reading glasses on. Uh, just posted up in his little bed. I'm just gonna walk in and stare at him and not say anything. He looks up from his book and just goes, "All right, Gaza." Ah, uh, buongiorno. I didn't want to uh, interrupt. Uh, uh, hello, you remember me? Yeah, I remember you. You're a bunch of them fucking people that just left me here. Well, y- yes. How have you been? Good. He looks back down at his book, and he crosses his other leg. Like he switches legs. What? Bueno, bueno. Uh, he's uh, he's in here. Everybody. I don't really know what they want with you, so. You what? Can't hear you, mate. The fucking crocodile is here. What? Ransom, are you gonna go over and find your son? Yes, sorry. <laughs> yes, I'll go and I'll I'm go waiting. and find my son. So I don't know what I'm waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here, like trying to get you to fucking come over. That's it, mate. I'm just not in the brain. Yes, I'll go right, yeah. and talk to my son. Uh, he looks up at you in the doorway as well, and he's just like, he nods at you, and then goes back to his book. He looks a little bit bitter. Cleef. Cleef. It's so good to see you. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were trying to get rid of me back there. Oh, you absolutely leaving me not. Here. Could you ever forgive us, Cleef? He looks up from his little book and he closes it and puts it to one side. Takes his little reading glasses off. Oh my god, he's so readable. And he looks up and down and he like flops out of the bed and fucking like (laughs) does a little crocodile walk over to you with his little elbows out. And he stands up on his rear legs and he he crosses his little alligator arms. I don't like that you left me on my own here. Look, Cleef, uh, I can only apologise for the oversight, but I assure you, you had a better time here than we had there. It was, it was mighty horrible. It's true, there, there was fire. A bunch of rats, I had to watch them reform into a fucking rat king thing, and then it morphed into that old man. Oh. He's been treating me like a dog for the last fucking five days. Oh, so all of the rats were the wizard. Well, that explains their terrible, terrible Italian. Yeah, it seems it. Like, they, they all, like, fucking wrap their tails together into the, like, a f- sort of shape of a vague man, and then I, I, it was a process that took about 15 hours, and it was horrifying to watch. But they all started melting into each other and being him. Very interesting. It well, was horrifying. Uh, that sounds absolutely horrible. To be honest, Khalifa, I'm, I'm sorry. It was. I'm sorry it you was. had to go through it was that. Horrible. And he starts crying into his little alligator paws. Can I pick him up and console him? Yeah. When you pick him up, he sort of leans into it for a moment. Um. And just like, I really missed you. I didn't know what to do. I missed you too, little buddy. Because, you know, you said that you were going to turn me back into a human and then you just left me here. And I thought, oh, God. No. Never going to be a dude again. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. I promise you. Castor starts crying. (laughs) (laughs) The fuck are you crying? (laughs) Oh, it's just so beautiful. Oh. God, and he, he wraps his little arms around your neck, ransom, and just gives you a hug. My son, I love him so much. <laughs> you are aware I'm in my forties, yeah. Um, I'm seven hundred and twenty-nine years old. I guess I have a baby compared to you, then. <laughs> cool. Well, well, I'll take him. He yeah, he, he climbs up onto your shoulders. He climbs up onto your shoulders, and he sits there, and you can like, uh. He's definitely really happy that you're back, but he was a little bit hurt by being left. Uh, but you can see he's got a pretty nice setup. He's got like a water bowl next to his bed. He's got like a tiny blanket in there, and, like a like a, a miniature stuffed toy. Yeah, man's been living it up. Mm. He's been reading like a really complex novel. It's like War and Peace <laughs> of the Universe. Getting your book learning in, please. Yeah, I've been. 
I used to be a big reader, but you know, I couldn't really do it when I was in a a, a, a sewage pipe. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd wet. imagine it's hard to flick the flick the book about with your tiny little alligator hands. Yeah, well, it was mostly that they got wet, but you know, also the tiny hands. <laughs> Well, when we turn you back into a man, there's plenty more books where that came from. I'm quite excited. Um, uh, uh, did you d- did you manage to, you know, get anything done? Uh, in regards to turning you back into a man, or no, no, when you oh. when you went off on your little adventure without me. Oh, we well, we fought some uh, horrible fire things. We uh. By the guards, what else did we do? Um, I found out a lot of information. But I don't think we have a solid lead yet. Oh, well, oh, sorry about that one. I, th- I thought you'd make some good progress and, you know, figure some stuff out, but... Made some pretty good progress. Good, well, well. I do. I do still wish that I could have, you know, been there. <laughs> you'll you'll be there for the next one, my young friend. You know how magic goes. It uh can present with some issues. All right. Well, uh, been reading up on some stuff, so I don't know. Maybe I could be of some use. Oh, really? Yeah, I've I've been reading uh, a lot of this guy's tomes and shit. Um, there's all sorts of like elemental sh- fuckery going on and shit at the moment. I don't know the big words for them and stuff, but you know, there's like fire and shit just like everywhere. And there's this little island where there's loads of people who are like elementals, and it's all fucked up. But that's all I've got so far, really. Right then. Well, uh. I guess you should come and have a chat with the rest of the boys and we can see if uh, any of that comes in handy. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Fantastic. All right, well, I'll call him I don't want to sleep in a dog bed anymore. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we can get you in a proper bed for the night. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah. Maybe yeah, a small He sits one. on your shoulders. He sits on your shoulders and you can absolutely um, wander him back over to the boys. Uh, the wizard... It looks like he's accepting the fact that he's about to be killed on the spot. Um, he's still on the floor. Gabba is yelling at him still. Uh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> he's just crying and retching over your smell. Yeah, but could we maybe stop harassing the man that we need to talk to and uh, get talking to him? Yeah, all right. <laughs> right. And Gabba goes and sits in the corner. And just immediately is like goes straight to a zero. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, the wizard is fucking trembling as you walk away, and he looks up at the rest of you, and he just like points over at his desk, and he's like, oh. Oh, all my money's over there. You can take it if you want. I just, I just take whatever. I don't care. It's fine. G- Gamma oh. does go and grab that. Mm-hmm. Of course he does. Yeah, yeah, we find like a little. It's like a miniature chest. Uh, it's got some gold pieces in it. Oh yeah, Magic Police Texas. How many is it? There's like a good like forty eight. Oh. Remember what we said about the commune, Gabba. I'm out the commune. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in that shit. Yeah, one gabba, one vote. Brilliant. Oh, oh, I'm rich. Are you leaving this guy just trembling on the ground and <clears throat> looting him? I mean, surely this is you can, Ask you if you can turn the crocodile back. In. Go on then. I, I, have you asked him if they can turn him into a, a man again? A little cleat? Yes. Cool. He, he's just like... 
trembling. He was like, oh, well, I, I know some magic, but I, I don't know the extent. Um, obviously, I, I, I am not so good at it these days. Um, but, you know, I, I could give it a go. Um, and Cleeth is just like, I don't want that fucking man anywhere near me. <laughs> yeah, I, tu- I saw him turn into rats and then reform. Uh, he was only trying to fucking do a minor spell and that shit happened. I don't trust him. Yeah, I think uh, it's probably the best don't travel down that road, to be honest. Maybe find someone a little bit more adept at, uh... <laughs> at that. I yeah. say let him try. The, the the greatest the greatest wizard in the land. You you could you know you would find him. Um... Wait, he... wait one minute. You're saying mm. you can't polygamorph this turtle back into a person? And, well, I I could try, but I'm not very good in my old age, and and I I mess up a lot of my spells, and I just. What, what, what percentage would you give it? Well, like if you were to roll a dice. A D20, let's say. I was to roll, like, a dice with a hundred sides, and it was, like, a percentage chance. I think if I rolled <laughs> anything, like, below, below like, a, a, a 20, then it would work, but I, there's, like, a huge, huge percentage chance that oh. it would not work. Well, what would happen if it didn't work? Well, then something would happen. Can't <laughs> say oh. what. Oh, it wouldn't kinda... be what I want it to be. Yeah, oh, I was kind of down for this. Useless. What? <laughs> But what, what, one in 20 times five, that's pretty good. No. Right. Well, we're a commune again. Uh, anyone else vote for the, the, the wizard thing or just me? I think it's probably up to Cleef, to be honest. Uh... Well, he's not part of the commune. Why? Well, uh, <clears throat> it's a racist commune. <laughs> and we hate crocodiles. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah. Well, oh, just me then. No, it's it's more u- humans that we hate. Yeah. And uh, true. He he was a human, even if he is a a croc now. So um. Oh, so no I, one else thinks you should just try and get him like trans transform back now. Uh, Put him off. Khalifa, are you happy enough in your alligator form for now for this man? I am not... so content. I want nothing to do with this. I'm actually very happy being an alligator right now. Right, fantastic. Well, for me, that's... It so... looks like he's about to wet himself, so no. Um, Let's leave... This what was the name of that arrested. big, cool wizard, though, that he said? What, what was that name of that big, cool wizard you said? Well, if you go and find um, Madam Fireseer... She she's over in, um, uh she she's over in the chain spire. It's like a really old old spire place. She took it over. Um, she does have a cool name. She uses she uses fire to see the future. It's crazy. She okay. she lives over in the scorched wilds sometimes, but you know she sort of lingers around that whole area. Okay. Well, we'll 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 go see her then. Thank you for. Uh... Okay. Thank you for not killing me. <laughs> no problem at all. Oh. Uh, like to back away and just kind of leave. Yeah, you yeah. leave this traumatized old man alone in his house after looting him and uh, kidnapping his dog. Um, and we could end the session there if people are <laughs> wanting to take a break from D and D brain. Um. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll end it there. We had a lot of stuff go on. That was a nice little a little sesh. Um, sorry, I didn't have too much planned visually. Uh, it's all good. That's like mighty that. fine. Yeah. We'll leave it there for the sesh. <laughs> you laughing out there, Gabba? Uh, the fact that you're, I just appreciate the ransoms. You know, thanking the DM in character. So <laughs> looks up at this guy and goes, "Yeah, mighty fan." Ransom's like a little part fan. of me now. <laughs> I feel like Rian's in that state where if she goes out of the voice, they're immediately going to lose it. So they just have to stay in it for. Uh, yeah. You part. might be a little bit right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yeah, just for the sesh. Yes. Yeah, good sesh. Good game. Got some little character moments in there. See where it's going to go. Very interesting. Very cool. Yes. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. Fun Thank you. Fun Debbie Dozy. Here we go. We'll go back to Rianne. Rianne's back. No. Welcome oh, back. I just want to be Ransom. I ain't coming oh. back to shit. Big Sarge. And he's gone. That was Long live.